the opportunity to change our society. Give us the opportunity to change the families that we come from. We have earned degrees. We have gone to the diploma. Bear in mind that every institution in Kenya that is offering any program in rural is regulated by the Council of Legal Education. So the Council of Legal Education regulates universities to offer diploma in rural. We apply for this diploma in rural. We go, we are taught, we graduate successfully. We go to the same universities, regulated by the Council of Legal Education, we do our LLB. The people you see behind us, they have gotten first class honors in LLB. They have second class upper. They have graduated successfully. But Kenya School of Law is telling us that is not enough. Some of the colleagues go ahead and do masters in group. They come back to KSL, KSL tells you that is not enough. So we are asking KSL today, what is enough? Tell us what is enough. Because all we want is to learn. All we want is education. We are not asking for much. In a country where we are trying to push the youth, go to school, get a skill, do something with your life. And then we tell these youth, no, Yes, we are saying go to school, but we do not want to. It is so wrong, it is not right, and we are putting Kenya School of Law on notice today that we have started this work and we are not relenting until we hit to our cry. Thank you. My name is Lois Njoroge. I'm, I'm an LLB holder in degree in law. And uh, many years back, I started to be a lawyer, to be an advocate, to fight for people's rights. As a young, as a, as a woman, I wanted also to encourage other girls to fight for their rights, you know, to be this educated woman. And uh, I started with my diploma because I had not qualified, because by then I did my diploma in law back in 2013. That's when I graduated with a credit. And then from there, due to my financial crisis, I was not able to pursue for my degree. So I joined later back in 2019 at Mount Kenya University. Only for me to graduate last year, December, with a second class upper division, and then applying to KSL, they denied my, me for my admission. So my question is, should I be punished because I never started my, my degree initially after I cleared my, my my diploma. So, hey yourself, we are putting you on notice. Kindly allow us use the legal framework that should be put in place. Allow these comrades to pursue their dreams, to become advocates. I was sharing with some of them. Back in my village, we don't have lawyers like women lawyers, and I had this big dream of becoming one and being somewhere. I'm not able to pursue my my dream and I'm also appealing to our dear president kindly we know you are our dear president you love education you like progression please assist us in this thank you now uh, gentlemen thank you very much for uh, being to come and listen to us it is indeed a huge journey that we have taken but most of our colleagues most of them are not here but the number is bigger than she was more than 3,000 the fact of the matter is that KSL as, a, as an institution that exclusively offers this course. And just to put things into perspective, the Kenya School of Law is only training uh, students. In terms of examination and other regulations done by the Council of Education. So it is our prayer, it is our humble request that KSL should reconsider their decision and agree and in fact make sure that these students who have done the LSD be admitted to take the that one year course. That is only uh, hard work that is stopping these people from having their practice and uh, improving also their lives. Uh, these people and these students who are producing LFP also have dreams and also have uh, ambition to fulfill. But if KSL is, has decided to make sure that we do not achieve that, then we are going to use these other means that we should have to talk about. Parliament is an option for us, and other means that are available, we are going to use them to ensure that. This thing is too late. We have a long lasting solution. Thank you very much. To make a, a, to clarify on something, after graduating from uh, from the, the university, if you study law, that is LLB, law degree, then you are required that for you to be admitted as an advocate of the High Court, you must do.
you must go through Kenya School of Law, which is a diploma course. So for people to understand, because some people might ask that then after degree, then why don't you just practice? You can't practice without going through Kenya School of Law. And that is what over 3,000 students in this country from 2015 up to now have been denied that opportunity. So please listen to our prayers or we will force you to listen to our prayers. As an Yes, question. Yes, right now we have our case at the Supreme Court. And we are requesting all the students from 2015 to date who have not joined KSL because of the same problem to avail themselves anytime you are needed at the Supreme Court. Yes. So what, any other question? What is the main reason of them not being admitted? The main reason of them not be, being admitted is very simple. These students at the KCAC level, KSL says that you need to score a B plane and above, grade B plane and above in Kiswahili or in English. But these students did not score grade B plane and above. But some of them were admitted having scored higher grades in higher subjects, in other subjects. So just because of that, you are being punished. But before you study law, you are required to go and do a diploma course, which they all did. After that, they enrolled in various universities, which they all succeeded and graduated successfully. So you are just being told that because of grade B, then why did they offer other subjects also? Why, do, why did they just offer English and Kiswahili for those students who wanted to study law? So that you just concentrate in two subjects and you are admitted at the university, you study law. Iyo Nisawa. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, something.